Today we're filming in Hatton Garden, London's famous diamond district. And we're here because beneath all the glitz and glamour, there's a thriving industry of independent retailers and entrepreneurs. UK business has a global reputation for creativity and excellence, from some of the big brands like Vivian Westwood, Dyson and Paul Smith, to some of the smaller retailers like the one we're going to go and visit now. Ladios is a boutique retailer of fashion jewellery based here in Hatton Garden. They have won a number of awards and have carved a reputation as a young, innovative company. What inspired me to become an entrepreneur was the fact that um, I'm very stubborn and I don't like being told what to do and also I have a genuine passion for fashion and jewellery and accessories. We always get asked if we're best friends because usually um, to people like us who are working together usually tend to be friends. I see her more as my ex-wife. Um, we have a relationship where we are together and we argue and we debate and we come up with all these ideas and we don't always agree. I think it's a special thing when you can find that connection with somebody and build it into you know, a business like La Diosa. And we've learned each other's faults, we've learned what we love, what's, what we're good at, and we learn, we've learned to just work together well. It can be quite difficult to find that when you are a pair, but I think once you do find that, then you know it's a magical thing. So, given that you run your own creative business, what kind of advice would you give to people who want to go, you know, who want to be creative and want to start up business like yourselves? I would say to young people who are thinking about starting a business, um, always surround yourself with positive people who are willing and ready to support you. Make sure your service or product is the best out there, and find something niche about it. Once you've found that, figure out who your your customer is. You need to know your customer inside out, you need to know where they shop, you need to know where they eat, you need to know where they live. Once you've got the basics of the market research, then you can really kind of delve into how you want to start your company. I think there's so many different outlets now for young entrepreneurs, um, including Enterprise UK, The Prince's Trust. I think if you've got the passion, and you've got the idea, just kind of go for it. What is it that you enjoy most about the work that you do? I love everything about my work, the stress, the meetings, making money, everything is really beautiful about Ladiosa. We started out by doing every single aspect, you know, the marketing, the PR, the making, the sending, the calling up journalists and learning how each aspect works. I fell in love with each aspect because it's all to do with business at the end of the day and I'm, I'm in love with business. Every day is different. Every week is different, every year is different. We're constantly faced with new things and you can wake up in the morning and you know, think you have a plan for what the day is gonna be and then something happens and it completely changes it. For the good and sometimes for the bad, but usually for the good and I love that. You know, I, I hated working nine to five. We both have the right passion to make Gladiosa work and with that, um, it helps me enjoy everything. And I think as an entrepreneur, you need to feel passionate about what it is you're doing and even when stress comes you need to stay confident and you need to kind of almost not enjoy the stress but you have to have an understanding that this stress and this challenge I find it very disheartening when people find physical challenges with themselves for example you can have people who say well maybe one of our challenges would be being black women in in business which I completely disagree with I think anybody can do business as long as you have the right attitude and the right passion for what it is you're trying to achieve what do you know now that you wish someone had told you when you first started out doing the business? I wish at the beginning that we knew how important cash flow was and, and how much you have to know more than just your product. You have to fall out of love with your product and understand things like margins, things, you know, your overheads and expenses and your incomes and how all of those things relate to making money. You need to really know the back end of business as well, so you need to know how much money you'll need to start up, make sure you forecast for the next three years, um, you know, know if there's going to be a point when you might need a further investment in your company and just really know the ins and outs of the financials of your company. I think it's I think it's key because if you don't if you're not making money you don't have business um, and I think as a creative company a lot of people just fall in love with the product and think you know I've got a beautiful product people are gonna buy it but that's not necessarily the case so just you know really build on your um, on the foundation financial foundation okay so without giving away any trade secrets or telling people about what you're gonna do what does the future look like for Ladiosa we're gonna further develop our jewelry line we've launched our rings um, just recently so continue with that 
um, launch into other accessories as well. You know, we want Ladiosa to be not only a jewellery brand, but more like a lifestyle brand. The beauty of Ladiosa is we've built such a firm concept that it can eventually represent the many different facets of both of our personalities. We can basically adapt into so many different industries as long as they, they fit with the values that we've created. Thanks to Natasha and Sem for sharing their story. But don't go away, because as always, we have some top tips for you. Starting out, a lot of entrepreneurs don't realize how important it is to manage your money. So make sure you have a tight rein on your cash flow. Being an entrepreneur in the retail industry, having a passion about your product is essential, but it's not enough. It's knowing what your product means to your customers as well. As an entrepreneur, the customer is king. So find out exactly what that customer wants and meet that need. Thank you for watching. We'd like you to post a video response with your thoughts and opinions on virginmediapioneers.com.